Bustard collector has two jobs. It sucks and squeezes, drawing vacuum energy in from outside and also compressing the vacuum energy. Some of the vacuum energy is forced into the combustion chamber at very high pressure so that when fuel is mixed with it and ignited, a rapid increase in heat energy is produced. The warp coil is where the bang happens. The fusion, fission, and annihilation burning mixtures of vacuum energy and quantum plasma fuel is sent rushing at high speeds into the turbine. The primary and secondary warp coils use fusion, fission, and annihilation burning mixtures of vacuum energy and plasma generated by the warp core to create a subspace displacement field that allows for faster than light travel. As the subspace displacement field expands, part of the energy is used to power the warp turbine, which in turn power slash drives the warp coils. Finally, the subspace displacement field is blown out through the exhaust nozzle. It has lost some of its energy through the warp turbine, but has enough left over to accelerate through the nacelle nozzle, providing a fast-moving subspace hyperluminum stream out of the back of the FTO drive, and therefore, by reaction, creating an equinopsid forward thrust.